Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here, man. Trying to continue to cook up some of this NBA Summer League, man. It's coming down to an end. It is Constellation Day, man. A few other teams that we've been betting on. This will be their last game, man. We got playoffs starting tomorrow. A few more Constellation games. And then Championship Game Monday. I've had a ton of fun picking winners for you guys. Watching some of the young guys flourish in the summer league. Trying to take that next step and get ready for the NBA season. It's been fun, man. And it's winding on down. As I've said in all these summer league videos, though. I'm not betting crazy units. I am betting not crazy units, though. And I don't advise that you do either. The roster manipulation we know that goes on in the regular season is even worse in the summer league, man. As all this information is not as readily available I try to do my best to update you guys on Twitter and in the comments and, you know, do my research beforehand, but y'all know how it be sometimes, man. So we got seven games on the card today, man, kissing some of these teams goodbye before we see them in the regular season. Let's try to make us some money, man, and attack it per usual. So first game up, we got the Hornets and the T-Wolves. We've talked about this Hornets team the entire time we've talked Summer League, man. They were arguably the worst team in the entire Summer League, even when they had Brandon Miller in their rotation, man. With him no longer playing, with how bad this team has been, um, they've played more games than just about anybody um, over the course of all the Summer Leagues. We saw them in the first one, the Sacramento Summer League. There's no way I would want to. Uh, putting any money on this team, man. I think they go out same way they came in, losers. I think the Timberwolves um, get this win. I understand why they're favored by three and a half, and I do lean in the direction of Minnesota winning this game. Minnesota, we did see them get one win. They beat New Orleans 102-88. Other than that, man, I do think they lost to teams that were better than them. Teams they lost to were Utah 108-96, Atlanta 99-93, and Sacramento 93-80. I would say all three of those summer league teams were better than Minnesota. This Charlotte Hornets team is not. I expect Minnesota to win this game. I would lay the three and a half with them in that one. Next up, we got the Warriors and the Raptors. A pretty tough game. Line is dead even. Both teams have yet to win a game. This one's tough. Um, probably won't be betting this one. If I did have a lean, it would be in the direction of the Toronto Raptors. Uh, Golden State got their doors blown off by Houston, 118-101. Um, lost to Dallas in overtime. Did cover in that one, but lost. Lost pretty heavily to New Orleans, 94-86. And lost to the Lake Show when Max Christie was looking pretty good. When I look at Toronto, I think they have a better roster than Golden State does, and we've seen Toronto fight in most of their games. Although they lost, they did fight, and I think Toronto played the tougher schedule than Golden State as well. Chicago was a decent team in the Summer League. Cleveland might have been the best team in the Summer League. Detroit was fielding a really good roster, and I think Brooklyn was probably slept on in the Summer League. So, you know... Again, not my favorite game. Small, small lean on Toronto in this one. I understand why the line is even, though. And I wouldn't be surprised if that one went either way. But I do lean in the direction of the Toronto Raptors. Next up, Sacramento, Milwaukee. Milwaukee 2-2. Two two. They've dropped back-to-back -back games. Um, lost to Miami 91-72 in their last one. Also lost to Brooklyn 92-71. Their first two wins came against Denver and Phoenix. I do think, though, they had a better team than Denver and Phoenix. Um, and I do think Miami and Brooklyn were better teams than Milwaukee. So I think Milwaukee has done exactly what they were supposed to do in the summer league, try to develop some guys and uh, just roll the ball out, see what we have. Sacramento, they've played more games than just about anybody as we saw them in the Sacramento summer league, but... Those first you know, few games we had to take with a grain of salt as Keegan Murray played in those games, played extremely well. Since then, he did not play at all in the Las Vegas Summer League, and Sacramento is now 2-2. Two and two. They won their first game, beat Atlanta 80-76, lost to a Clippers team that I do think was better than them, lost to Chicago, and then beat up on Minnesota. So I think Sacramento has probably done probably exactly what they were supposed to do as well. 
this line is Sacramento minus one right where it should be. Uh, pretty tough. I think it's a 50-50 type game. If I were to bet it, which I probably won't, I would lean in the direction of Sacramento. Um, I think that they play the tougher schedule, and I would prefer to have my money on them, man. Um, so small lean on Sacktown in that one. Next up, Washington, Chicago. Chicago favored by two. I want the Wizards um, plus the two or money line in this one. Um, I like what I saw from them yesterday as they beat up on Oklahoma City, 105-89. Yes, I know Oklahoma City didn't have the guys in there that, you know, were the staple for this team in the summer league like Holmgren and the crew, but I, that still doesn't take away how good Washington looked yesterday. Um, and they played a pretty tough schedule as well. Lost to Indiana when Indiana had Benedict Matherin and crew, um, 91-83. Beat Boston, 103-98. And lost to San Antonio, 96-85. But I've told y'all this entire summer league, I like that San Antonio summer league team a lot. On the other side, Chicago, they did hang tough with Cleveland. Probably the toughest anybody hung, 87-83. They beat Sacramento, 107-99. Lost to Memphis and beat Toronto. Eh, you know, is how I feel about them. Um, I mean, I do feel like they did exactly what they were supposed to do. They beat the team they were supposed to beat, Toronto and Sacramento, and lost to better teams in Memphis and Cleveland. But... I think today's game is a really even match between Chicago and Washington. And I think the momentum that Washington, um, you know, was able to establish in their last one yesterday against Oklahoma City probably carries over into this one today. Getting them, you know, uh, as the dog, I lean in the direction of the Washington Wizards in that one. Next up, Magic, Boston. Boston favored by four and a half. Orlando has lost all four summer league games um, to Detroit, Indiana, New York, and Portland. I lean in the direction of Boston, but this is not one of my favorite games today either. Um, I did not ha like how Boston lost yesterday. I thought they were going to beat the Knicks. They did not. They lost that game 97-89. Um, they did beat the Lakers. That was their only win. Lost to Washington. Lost to Miami. Do I want to lay the four and a half with Boston? I do not. Do I think they win the game? I do. So that's kind of how I feel about this one. Maybe a parlay piece um, if you're if that's your thing. I do think Boston wins the game. I can I could see them winning the game comfortably, but I'd rather not lay the points with them. Um, I'd rather just have them as a parlay piece, as a money line play, because I do think they win that game. Two to go, two to go, two to go. We got... Denver and New York, man, Denver shocked the hell out of me yesterday as they controlled the game from start to finish over Miami, won that game 112-81. Um, that was their only win. They lost to Utah, Atlanta, and Milwaukee. All three of those teams I do think were better than this Denver team. Um, I think that in today's game, these two teams are super evenly matched. Uh, Boston... Um, was beat yesterday by New York, 97-89. And New York also beat Orlando, 82-80. I think these two teams are super um, close. I, I understand why the line is one and a half. But if I were to pick a winner, I would pick Denver. I just really like what I saw from them yesterday as they dominated that game start to finish. Um, and I would not be surprised if some of that momentum carried over. New York did lose their first two games. I do think they probably should have lost those two games against Philly and Brooklyn. Both teams were better. Um, and then two teams they were fairly even matched with, Boston and Orlando. They did get the win, but small, small lean for me on the Denver Nuggets in that one. And next up, last but not least, we got the Grizzlies and the Suns. The Grizzlies decided to show up yesterday. Uh, that's the Grizzlies team I thought we were going to see over the entire course of the uh, Summer League, um, they did drop two games, the Cleveland and the Clips. But they beat up on Chicago and beat up on the Lake Show, and I think they beat up on Phoenix in this one. Phoenix lost to Milwaukee, lost to New Orleans, lost to Utah. Uh, this is not a roster that really jumps off the page for me. I like the pieces for Memphis way better. I think that momentum from yesterday carries over. And I think Memphis wins and covers in this game today. So those are all the games, man. Last time we're going to see all these teams as um, 
Their summer league comes to an end. My favorite games on this card would be Minnesota laying the three and a half, Memphis laying the three, and then I would probably go Washington plus the two against Chicago are my three favorites. You can probably parlay those up if you want to. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs, man, trying to continue to cook up some of this summer league, man. We got a, a nice schedule of games tomorrow, playoff start tomorrow, and then championship game Monday. So I'll see y'all tomorrow morning as I continue to cook up this summer league. I do have baseball plays for sale over at the site. Uh, you can get my play of the day, 19 bucks. I swept the card in baseball yesterday, 3-0. and So um, hop on some long term over there if you're rocking with me, and let's continue making some money throughout the summer. Me and your guy Jay Briggs, man, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm out of here. Peace.